And what I've been doing is walking backwards uphill. And this is a maybe a 45 degree incline. We're gonna go to a really steep one later. But uh, the basic... <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Coach Nick here. Um, all right, today we're gonna do some training outside. Uh, there's a lot of things I like to do outside that I can't do in my gym, and I like to use a hill. I live right next to a hill. I'm at the bottom of it right now, and um, we're gonna have a three-part series on how to cross train outside using a hill. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot is, um, how do I develop uh, stronger leg muscles, stronger calves, and uh, develop more explosive kicks and speed and all that. Well, you have to strengthen your legs. So part of my rehab process is uh, just getting back a lot of the muscle that I lost in my right leg, especially my calf, my right calf. And what I've been doing is walking backwards uphill. And this is a maybe a 45 degree incline. We're gonna go to a really steep one later. But uh, the basic, the basic uh, level that we're doing for this video is just go backwards. You don't have to run. We're just going at a nice pace and I'm walking backwards and that forces, uh, forces you to use the ball of your feet when walking and you're putting less strain on your knee and you're using your quads and your calves a lot more uh, carrying yourself uphill. So um, this is the uh, not so steep one. We'll go to the steep one in just a bit. All right, so this is a steeper part of the hill now. I mean, maybe this is like a 65 degree incline and I'm um, gonna get a really good workout. If you can find a really steep hill and just walk backwards on it, you're gonna feel it. Right now I'm feeling it in my quads and my calves. It forces you to walk on the ball of your feet, nice and controlled. And uh, just do this for 10 minutes. See, see how well you do and how sore you get. And uh, do it again and again for your training or on your off days. All right. Take care, stay tuned for video two next.